Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Optifine onto Minecraft. That's a pretty simple thing to do. It's not hard whatsoever. First off, I want to start by saying that this is not going to be the setup video. I'm not going to be showing you guys in this video how to set it up. I'm only making this video on how to properly install it because there is people that struggle with this part. So I want to make a full video dedicating it to this part. And then I'm going to make a separate video on how to gain FPS with Optifine. And I'm going to show you guys your best settings for your computer. Now, I want to start by saying, guys, that I do not have the best computer. Yes, I am on a Mac, but these things kind of suck. They're a little bit underpowered, especially for their price point. Thank God I got this used, so it's honestly a pretty good steal for the price. But they are kind of underpowered, so that's why I run Optifine on this. Now, most of you are probably going to have a cheap Windows laptop or PC that, you know, just doesn't have the best specs. So that's why you're looking for Optifine, and, you know, that's why you're looking at this video right now. So... You're going to go to optifying.net. I'm going to leave this down in the description below so you guys could actually just click on it. You don't have to type it up. Just click on the link and uh, it'll take you here. Anyways, you're going to go into downloads. Once you're on downloads, make sure that if you're on Google Chrome and it's the same download process for both Mac and PC. That's why I'm showing you here because it really doesn't matter. Um, if you're going to go ahead and download it using Google Chrome, make sure you have your ad blocker off if you do have that because this is how these people make their money. So I just want to let you guys know that. Anyways, go and find the actual, you know, newest download. So right now it's 1.13.2 and we're going to go ahead and click mirror. It's going to give us a download link. You click download and it should pop up on your downloads right here. If you have Mac and you're using Safari, it should pop up here. If you're using um, Google Chrome, it should pop up on the bottom left corner. Anyways, go ahead, quit Safari, quit Google Chrome, whatever you're doing. Now, before this step, I want you guys to actually go ahead and run Minecraft. If you haven't ran the newest version of Minecraft, for example, right now it's 1.13.2. So if you haven't ran 1.13.2 before or any other versions, whether it's past versions or newer versions, make sure that you start your game first, load it up, right? So go ahead, click on Minecraft. I already have it installed, so it's going to say Optifine down here, but go ahead and run that version of Minecraft. Once it's all loaded up, quit the screen, right? It's going to take you back to your home screen like this, and then you're going to double click on Optifine. Now, mine's going to say that it's, you know, it's an unidentified uh, developer, so it's not going to trust it. Now, on Mac, you're just going to want to right click, open with, and then just jar launcher like this. And then on PC, it's the same thing. You're going to right click and run as administrator. Now, I'm not going to open it because I already have it installed, so it'd be pointless. But you're going to click open. It's going to do like a little loading thing, and you'll have the profile loaded onto your Minecraft game. All right, so once you get into Minecraft, guys, you are going to go into your launch settings. You're going to pick which profile you want Optifine to be on, whether you want to make just an Optifine like actual profile where you want to run Optifine on, or you could just do it on your regular profile. It's not a big deal. You're going to click on it. You're going to go to versions, and then you're going to scroll to where it says 1.13 Optifine and all this gibberish in the back. And basically, once you click that and you click save, you go back to the Minecraft home screen and you click play and the game should load up. All right, and once you're on the actual loaded Minecraft screen like this, go ahead, go into options, go into video settings, and if you, it looks like you have a whole bunch of video settings like this, then Optifine is properly installed. Another way of checking is just go to your options and go to video settings, and if you look down here in the left corner, the lower left-hand corner of the screen, it should say Optifine HD, la, 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 la. And if that's done, then you're good to go. Um, thank you guys so much for watching today's video guys. Hopefully this helped a lot of you I know this part I actually struggled with the first time that I tried installing minecraft um, Or optifine onto minecraft. So that's why I made this video a separate video from the actual setup um, The next the setup video should be coming out next week. So look out for that But um, anyways, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video Hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did like comment subscribe all that good stuff and I'll see you guys on another video. Peace